Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're gonna to talk about this Olympus BX41. It's a phase contrast microscope. So this, this scope right here is going to an IVF lab today. It's gonna to be used for andrology or semen work, semen counting. So it has a trinocular head. They're gonna put a camera on the scope eventually. It has 10X by 22 eyepieces. It has the tool that we love. So the tool comes out of the back right corner, the top of it. This tool can be used to basically disassemble or work on the microscope, move parts, things like that, not, not exactly work on it. For the phase scope, we're gonna go over the objective. So let's take the nose piece out. We're gonna drop the stage first. That's just gonna limit the chance that we hit the objectives on the stage. Once we loosen that screw, we're gonna go over the objectives. We have a 10X, a 20X, a 40X, and a 100X. So each one of these objectives, if you notice, have a pH on them. pH one, that stands for phase one, and it's gonna to correspond to the phase ring in the condenser, all right? pH one for the 20, pH two for the 40, and pH three for the 100. Okay, we're gonna set that aside, and then I'm gonna take the condenser out by raising the stage, lowering the condenser with the substage. There's a screw right here that we're gonna loosen. That condenser is gonna slide right out. So remember that pH one? This pH one right here is gonna have to be in on the 10 and 20 to match the phase rings and produce a phase contrast image. pH two is gonna to have to be in on the 40X. pH three is gonna to have to be on the 100X. This condenser has a dark field stop, which we're not gonna talk about in this video, but we'll talk about in a later video. And then the circle is the bright field image. So when you put the condenser back in, there's a little pin. This pin is gonna line in right here so we'll, the way we'll do it is we'll slide the condenser in and I, I put in a little crooked and then slightly rotate it and you'll see how it clicks back. Once it clicks back, you tighten that thumb screw and the condenser is seated properly, okay? All right, so with phase contrast, we're gonna take the condenser back out just to talk about this and then we're gonna do a more in-depth video down the road. Since we're installing this scope, we're, we're taking care of aligning the phase rings these right here are the centering keys. Each phase ring can get out of alignment and won't produce a phase image appropriately. What you would need to do is be looking through the objectives with the appropriate phase rings in, and you would need a tool called a phase telescope. So once you have the phase telescope in, you can align the phase rings. We're not gonna worry about that in this video but we can show you how to do so. We'll put some literature in the description to the manual that'll help you with that, that um, procedure. Other than that, the scope's ready to go. We just kind of want to talk about the, how the phase rings align with the phase rings and the objective and what the scope's used for. I think it'll be a great, great option for this client. And if you have any questions about this scope, any questions about anything with microscopy in general, give us a call at 919-775-5596 or you can email us at info at monday with a u, mondaymicroscope.com. Thanks.